make sense for us to start right here with this picture. It is the most retweeted thing that I have tweeted since I've been down here covering the floods. What is it? It's a boat that is in a place that it absolutely does not belong. But it's really like many oddities we're finding left behind by Mother Nature. Let's get a closer look at that picture. Lauren tweeted about it. Sometimes you choose a boat, sometimes a boat chooses you. And I think you're gonna see a lot of that. The water's brought a lot of things to places where they don't belong. Neighbors tell me this boat came from this street. It was for sale on dry ground, but when the waters came, well, you know the rest. It's just strange stuff. Strange indeed. We decided to drive the route that the boat could have taken. It started in the 4900 block of Kilbourne, traveled to the 800 block of Burwell. No driver, but the force of Mother Nature. It's not just this boat, but others that are in places where they shouldn't be. Imminent flooding elsewhere. We are seeing flooded homes and businesses. You can see here water through the windows of that business there in Union, Missouri. This is a, these are pictures from just moments ago. This McDonald's completely overcome this parking lot around these businesses. A lake. History. Torrential rain forced hundreds of rescues Sunday in South Carolina. The flooding has killed at least seven people in the Carolinas. South Carolina's people are dead after severe storms and tornadoes tore through North Texas in the latest incident of deadly weather in the nation. Authorities said the storms hit Dallas suburbs Saturday evening with Garland suffering the most casualties. In some neighborhoods, houses have given away right here, right here today, just as days of relentless rain and flooding began to subside. In fact, this afternoon, we were among those given just minutes to move from our original location along a swollen creek to higher ground when that dam opened up. At least nine people have died in South Carolina following what officials are calling a thousand-year storm. Hundreds have been forced from their homes, roads and bridges are closed, and clean water has been cut to thousands. In the end, it all starts to sound a lot like noise. Everything they say is a bold-faced lie. It's amazing. Some of the shows that they put on television, it really is. What's more amazing, though, is some of the news that they put on the television. What passes for weather and meteorology today is beyond a farce. I don't even have the word for what it is, but yet it, it makes do, it gets by, people tolerate it, people don't ask questions about what is going on. Meanwhile, roads flooding, homes flooding, mudslides, tornadoes, hail, what is being called biblical weather, severe weather events. Catastrophic weather. All these things. And no one's asking why. You know, everyone already has the answer. It's either global warming, or it's God. It's biblical. It's the end times. Or whatever your belief may be. May you Muslim or whatever. They all have end times events. How convenient. Well. We're going to shed some light on all this, and hopefully after you're done watching this, you'll have a better understanding of what exactly is causing all this erratic weather. In the first part, we're going to cover what happened on September 30th through October 2nd. It was the uh, building of the so-called hurricane. If you look off the eastern seaboard, you'll see a border. This delineates the offshore water vapor generators. The blue highlights the power plants that are generating water on land. On the right hand side is a close up and it's a different Im uh, image color. It's vibrant. It's just, the point is, is so that you can see that wherever there's a power plant, that's where this cold water is coming from. And that's what's generating the erratic weather. Well, that's one part of it. Thank you. 